Hello again. I just want to show two of my Jethro Tull albums. Um, I'll, I'll show firstly my favourite. Uh, I don't listen to Jethro Tull very much anymore, but if I do, I tend to play this one, Take Us a Brick and Act Boy. And I, I actually didn't buy any after Thick as a Brick. A friend of mine bought Passion Play, I think that was the one after this, and I, and I just, I don't know, I, I was over it. I, I was with them right from the start, but yeah, it just folds out like a huge newspaper. It's terrific, very, 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 at the time it was just so great to have this, that, you know, it was just terrific. And uh, I, I got to see them in 73 around yeah, they just after they'd released Aqualung, they toured in Sydney and Australia, and I put that up there amongst my yeah, top three gigs of the seventies, the early seventies, um, and Elton John too. I mean, before around around the time of um, uh, Yellow Brick Road, which was I think the same year as um, Aqualung seventy three. If I could be wrong. But I had seen Elton John in 1970. Um, he he came out to Australia very very early in the piece, and uh, he um, I'll never forget. It was so funny. I won a free ticket through a music magazine, and I, I'd sort of heard of him because he had a, a bit of a hit with your song at the time. And uh, I went to the concert, and it was so funny. He was playing under sort of like a big tent, um, and this huge uh, rainstorm, uh, thunderstorm, and Wind, wind came through, and it's hilarious. He was playing his piano, and and the <laughs> the the tent collapsed on top of him, and you can see this figure underneath the tent, and that you should have heard the language, you know, you know, if see you know, I'm never coming here, this effing, it was oh, it was great. Yeah, I got off track there, but that, uh, but then he, I saw him again in '73, and um. You know, it, it was like that was the peak before he sort of really lost it. But uh, just live, Jethro Tull, just for their stage um, performance, you know, the funny outfits, the, just and Elton John the same. And then, of course, the other big one I enjoyed equally was Progal Harem in the same year as well. And um, around their uh, Grand Hotel time. And at their most, you know, bombastic, I suppose you would say. But they weren't showmans, but they didn't have to be. Their musicianship, they had um, B.J. Wilson on drums, the octopus in the bathtub. And uh, you didn't need to have stage props. You, you, you just watch him playing the drums. They were so great. Yeah, so anyway, getting off back there. And I just want to show an original one. Original... A stand up English pressing on the beautiful island lady. Oh, well, it's probably the most perfect label design ever to my eyes, anyway. And here we go. There's the front cover. And the rear. And get ready for it. Open her up. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? Wow. I, I, I remember 1969, the year this came out, there were a few albums that, that we just played endlessly. One was, um, in, in my case, was. Um, Truth by the Jeff Beck group and the first Led Zeppelin album and Stand Up. There are others, but those three were the ones that just we played and played. Oh, it was, that was a good, good year that for that sort of thing. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, take care, everybody.